Exposed, the dark side of solar power. In the age of worsening climate crises and heightened environmental awareness, solar energy has emerged as a symbol of hope. Its promise is simple yet powerful. Harness the sun's abundant energy to power our homes, cities, and industries without harming the environment. Across rooftops, deserts, and remote landscapes, millions of solar panels quietly collect sunlight and convert it into electricity, seemingly flawless in the eyes of many. But behind this glowing image lies a shadow, a dark truth about solar energy that often goes unspoken. Because while it is labeled renewable, solar power is far from completely clean and is not without its share of serious challenges. At its core, solar energy depends on photovoltaic PV, technology. Using panels made from semiconducting materials like silicon, it absorbs sunlight to release electrons that generate electricity. This direct current DC is then converted into alternating current AC through an inverter, the form of electricity used in homes and businesses. In large-scale solar farms, thousands of panels simultaneously harvest sunlight. More advanced systems use mirrors and lenses to concentrate sunlight and heat up fluids to generate steam, which drives turbines, a process known as concentrated solar power, CSP. Despite the elegance of the technology, everything hinges on one thing, converting sunlight into usable energy through a complex and resource-heavy process. But the journey from sunlight to socket isn't just about science. It involves mining, manufacturing, logistics, and waste disposal, all of which carry environmental and social costs. The problem begins with sourcing raw materials. Solar panels require large amounts of quartz for silicon, silver, copper, and rare earth elements. Mining these, especially in developing countries, often causes environmental destruction, groundwater contamination, and the displacement of local communities. Some supply chains for solar panel production have even been linked to human rights abuses and unsafe labor practices. In the context of the Philippines, these issues are particularly critical. At first glance, solar farms in rural provinces seem promising, cheap power, jobs, and hope. But many have raised concerns. What if ancestral lands of indigenous groups are taken for clean energy projects? What if farmers are displaced from their lands? There are reports of solar energy developers attempting to enter ancestral domains without proper community consultation. Without just implementation, solar expansion can worsen land conflicts and marginalize already vulnerable communities. After raw materials are extracted, the manufacturing process adds another layer of concern. While solar panels do not emit carbon dioxide during use, their production is extremely energy-intensive and still relies heavily on fossil fuels. Much of global solar panel manufacturing is centered in China, where coal remains a primary energy source. The process also involves toxic chemicals like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and industrial solvents which, if improperly handled, can poison soil and water systems. Yes, solar has a lower carbon footprint over time compared to coal or gas, but to call it 100% clean is misleading unless we consider the full life cycle of the technology. Land use is another overlooked issue. Large-scale solar farms require vast areas of land, often forests, habitats, or agricultural land. In delicate ecosystems like mountains or deserts, converting natural areas into solar zones can cause long-term ecological damage. In some places, this results in what experts call green grabbing, where land is taken from local communities in the name of sustainability. An even less visible threat is solar waste. 
Most panels last around 25 to 30 years, which means the first generation of mass-installed solar panels is nearing the end of its life. Globally, recycling infrastructure is still severely lacking. If discarded in landfills, toxic metals like cadmium and lead can leach into the environment. By 2050, solar panel waste could reach 78 million tons worldwide. In the Philippines, if solar waste is not properly addressed, we risk becoming a dumping ground for tech waste we cannot process ourselves. There's also the issue of batteries used in solar systems. Most rely on lithium-ion batteries which require lithium, cobalt, and nickel, minerals whose extraction causes environmental degradation and water scarcity. These are often mined in politically unstable regions with reports of child labor and inhumane conditions, particularly in cobalt mines in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So while we distance ourselves from fossil fuels, we may be moving toward another destructive industry. Affordability is another layer of inequity. In wealthy countries, solar adoption is supported by incentives, subsidies, and financing. But in many developing nations, including the Philippines, solar systems remain expensive and inaccessible, mostly reliant on foreign investment. As a result, clean energy becomes a luxury for the wealthy, while most Filipinos, especially in remote areas, still suffer from high electricity prices or no access to power at all. This does not mean we should abandon solar power. It is still a vital part of the solution against climate change. But we must face the uncomfortable truth. Solar energy is not perfect. Real clean energy should not only be low in emissions, but must also be ethical, sustainable, and just for all. The answer is not to turn away from solar, but to demand better. We need transparent supply chains, humane mining practices, greener manufacturing, and long-term recycling solutions. Governments should ensure equitable financing programs so solar power is accessible not just to the privileged, but to all citizens. In the end, sunlight may shine equally on everyone, but how we capture and use that light must reflect not only efficiency, but accountability. The future of solar energy is bright, but only if we are ready to confront and correct its dark side. And there you have it, Kakul Arth TV. Solar power, the symbol of clean energy, has a side we can't afford to ignore. For the Philippines, this issue is deeply important. As we dream of cheaper electricity and cleaner air, we must also protect our mountains, farmlands, and communities. If regulation and management fall short, solar farms may end up displacing farmers, harming indigenous land rights, and polluting the very environment we aim to save. Worse, if we continue to import solar technology without building our own recycling or production systems, we might just become a dumping ground for e-waste in the future. It's not enough to say solar is renewable. It must also be fair, safe, and affordable for every Filipino. If we truly want a green future, we must ask, who benefits and at what cost? If this video opened your eyes, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech and environmental content that tells the whole story. Together, let's shine a light not just on clean energy but on truth. Subscribe. Share. Comment. Let's protect both the environment and every Filipino.